Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Mallu in Japan. So in this episode, I'm going to take you to a very special restaurant in Japan. I don't think there is any other restaurant like this anywhere else in the world. You'll be thinking why, right? Because there is no staff in this restaurant whatsoever. So how does this restaurant run? Let's go find out. So today I am joined by my dear friend Mahindra from Andhra. Hi Mahindra. Hi. So uh, we are on the car now and uh, it's about a couple of hours from Tokyo. But today it's raining so probably it will take more than a couple of hours. So we will be reaching there in a while. See you guys. Okay now we have reached the restaurant. It's called the Jido Hanki Shokudo in Japanese which means the automatic diner as it is shown in English. And now we are going to go inside and have a look at this staffless diner. Wow, actually there are no people inside. It's only a couple of vending machines and tables for people to sit and eat. So as you can see behind me, these are the three main vending machines that dispense food. And as you can see here, there are no staff or chef in the restaurant. So on this side of the shop, they have the drinks corner. So before that, they have a game slot machine, which is not working right now. But I think it's a pinball kind of a game, no? I don't know what kind of a game it is, but yeah, it's a gaming corner. And here you have a couple of vending machines that sell out the usual drinks. For example, Coke and ginger ale and all that stuff. And this one is pretty special because it has a retro style coke that is coke uh, being dispensed in the glass bottles which you used to get in the 90s so this is the toaster machine uh, currently it's not working but uh, you have the oven mitts the tongs and the tray to uh, pick up the hot toast which comes out of this machine so this is kind of cool because it gives you a homely feel to it uh, so you feel a little more more at home when you see these oven mitts and the tongs. And here it's just souvenir item. So the owner is also very thoughtful of the manga fans. So he has a separate section where all the mangas are arranged. So if you are having a food, you can grab a book from here and read your favorite manga. So this is probably the most bizarre corner in this entire restaurant. So in a usual restaurant, you can find chefs and other staff of the kitchen right from here behind this uh, cardboard. So now they have placed a cardboard and this has been converted into a counter seki or counter tables for the customers to eat. Because there is no one in this restaurant, if you want to like put coins in the vending machine and you don't have enough coins with you, this is a coin exchange machine where you can insert thousand in bills and you can get coins in return. Okay, let's go and order something, no? What do you want to eat, Mahindra? Tempura udon. Tempura udon. Tempura udon. Okay. So let's order tempura udon. Go ahead. So this is the tempura udon. It's 3.30 yen. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. It's pretty retro. You get it, no? <laughs> Hey. Oh, is it a Nixon tube? Uh, the displays, very old displays. Very though, old like, one, no? Yeah. They have like one, all numbers and they yeah, like all are one. one another. It's called a Nixon tube. Mm. It was there in the 80s probably. Yeah. <laughs> I think the entire uh, machine is kind of old. Old. But it's very surprising that it's still it's working, working, no? So we can hear a lot of noises in there. Uh, probably it's under preparation. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, so nice. So we have got tempura udon here. So it's pretty hot and it looks all ishi. Yeah, nice. So we are gonna grab a bite. It's really nice. It's a lot of quantity. For 350 N, I think this is a lot. So usually when you come to a restaurant in Japan, basically you slide the door or you open the door and there'll be a bell which rings, you know. So it makes a little chime and the shopkeeper knows that somebody is at the restaurant. And immediately he says, Irashai Mase. So we are so used to it now that uh, it's been ingrained in our brains. So once you open the door, automatically there is a chime and there is a voice coming from the counter saying Irashai Mase. But uh, in this restaurant, that's uh, an exception, you open the door and there is no sound, nothing. You just come in and uh, grab a table and then you go order at Jido Han by keys or the vending machines. So since there is no staff or waiters in this restaurant, I think they can cut down on the overhead expense a lot uh, just by having all these vending machines. And I think this kind of a place uh, also has a lot of advantages in terms of uh, People can just come in and order food and eat it and leave. So there is no waiting as such, uh, unlike in other restaurants where there's a lot of crowd and people are waiting for their food to be delivered for the table. Food from the vending machine is just one part of the entire thing. So the second part comes where the people who eat and dine in this restaurant take care of the surroundings well. So look at this restaurant, it's sparkling clean in spite of there being no staff around. So that also highlights an important aspect of the Japanese culture. So they take care of their uh, surroundings well and after eating they properly clean the place, they segregate the waste and this has also helped to uh, make this restaurant a success. So you guys must be wondering why there is so much of automation here in Japan. Well one reason is Japanese love convenience. So take for example parking a car in Japan. All you have to do is find an empty parking space and go park your car there. The rest of it is all automated. There is no person standing in the parking lot. Unlike in India where a buyer will be there, you will have to hand over the money, get the change back and then he will guide you to the parking space. So it's all very um, uh, unmanned, that is nobody will be there at uh, these locations. So you can do it at any time of the day without having to depend on anybody. That's a wrap for this video guys. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section below if there is a restaurant like this in your city. Do consider subscribing to Malu in Japan channel and I'll bring you more interesting stuff from Japan. Until I see you in the next one, it's owned out from Tokyo.